Welcome to ITT Corporation's diaphragm installation video. The Advantage and APA actuator share the same compressor design. Shown here is the pin connection. Please note, ITT recommends this be inspected at diaphragm changeout for excessive movement, wear, or damage. Identify if the application uses a two-piece PTFE diaphragm or a one-piece elastomer diaphragm. The two-piece diaphragm consists of a PTFE diaphragm and an elastomer backing cushion. This two-piece PTFE diaphragm connects to the compressor via a floating tube nut. An elastomer diaphragm for this series threads directly to the compressor. Second, you will need to identify the mode of operation. There are three different modes of operation. Fail close, fail open, or double acting actuator. Please note, the APA actuator is only available as fail close. If it is a fail close actuator, the compressor will already be extended beyond the bonnet flange. If it is a fail open or double acting actuator, air pressure will need to be applied to the upper actuator chamber to extend the compressor beyond the bonnet flange. During this installation video, it is important to look out for this notice symbol. This symbol is to indicate an important step that must be closely followed for proper installation. Also, pay attention for this symbol. This symbol indicates a special engineer tip that may make installing your diaphragm a little easier. This is a fail close actuator. When installing a new two-piece PTFE diaphragm, you should replace both the diaphragm and the backing cushion. To install the backing cushion, simply place it over the tube nut, aligning the bolt holes with the valve base. To ensure complete thread engagement, Invert the PTFE diaphragm by pressing your thumbs on the middle of the diaphragm while holding the edge of the diaphragm with your fingers. Also, it is important to invert the diaphragm so that it is not rubbing against the back cushion during installation. Once the diaphragm is inverted, engage the threads of the diaphragm with the tube nut and begin rotating the diaphragm clockwise. While turning the diaphragm clockwise, you may find it useful to hold the backing cushion in place to keep the bolt holes aligned during the entire process. Continue rotating the diaphragm slowly until a hard stop or heavy resistance is achieved and additional force does not significantly rotate the diaphragm into the compressor. This step is crucial in the installation of your diaphragm. Applying too much force and securing a fit that is too tight will result in damage to your diaphragm. Having the diaphragm too loose will result in the valve not having a proper seal when closed. This is considered point loading. Therefore, to remedy this situation, it is suggested that you rotate the diaphragm relatively slowly to ensure the proper installation. Once you have achieved a hard stop or resistance, rotate the diaphragm counterclockwise or back off the diaphragm just enough that the bolt holes line up. Finally, reinvert the PTFE diaphragm by pushing down on the sides. At this point, you may make any minor adjustments necessary to properly line up the bolt holes. Congratulations! You have successfully installed a PTFE diaphragm on an Advantage Actuator or APA actuated valve. For further reference, refer to your current ITT Advantage Actuator or APA Actuated Valve Maintenance Manual.